Uh, my Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, the government-funded Centre of Expertise on Child Sexual Abuse is working to build a more informed picture of the scale of these crimes and preventing them as a priority for the government. The Independent Office for Police Conduct is currently conducting investigations into 33 police officers of varying ranks for potential criminal offences and breaches of the standards of professional behaviour linked to the Rotherham case. My Lords, I fear that reply is shamefully inadequate because these girls are usually raped several times a day. And so if we accept the views of our lead police officer for child protection, of Rotherham's MP and of the recent Jay and Quilliam reports, we seem to be looking at millions of rapes of white and Sikh girls by Muslim men, only 222 of whom have been convicted since 2005. So, my lords, will the government ask our Muslim leaders whether the perpetrators can claim that their behaviour is sanctioned in the Quran and to issue a fatwa against it? And second, my lords, will the government encourage a national debate about the various interpretations of Islam. Can we talk about Islam without being accused of hate crime? My lords, child sexual exploitation is a vile crime <coughs> and it is not exclusive to any one community or culture or race or religion. Political sensitivities or cultural sensitivities should not get into the way of tracking down offenders and preventing future abuse. Can I say to noble lords that I think we should be careful about our language on this matter because I'm not least because I'm about to repeat a statement about inflammatory letters inciting a punish a Muslim day on April the 3rd. And so I think we need to be careful how we approach this. On the Quran, there's nothing in the Quran that uh, encourages the sort of activity that the noble lord has referred to. Uh, in any case, the Quran would be trumped by the law of the land. Islam, like all world religions, neither supports nor advocates nor condones child sexual exploitation. Indeed, respect for women is inherent in its faith. And as my noble friend Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon has just told me, one of the, one of the uh, phrases is, paradise lies at the feet of the mother. So far as um, encouraging a debate on Islam is concerned, the government is uh, supporting an initiative by British-based Islam leaders of all denominations to dispel the poisonous interpretations of Islam that are peddled by Al-Qaeda and Daesh. And we're taking a number of other initiatives in order to minimize the exposure of children to sexual abuse from whatever source. Yeah.